Now, five more MPs, four of them Labour ones, resigned or were booted out of Parliament yesterday for being dual nationals. And Labour leader Bill Shorten last year, <laughs> he boasted that none of his Labour people would have to quit. Rolled gold guaranteed, he said. What a mess. So, we're now going to have a mini-election, probably next month, by-elections in a string of seats. And the closest contest will be in Longman in Queensland, held by Labor's Susan Lamb, but just 0.8%. And the only reason Lamb won that seat last time was because One Nation directed its preferences to Labor. Well, the new One Nation candidate for Longman has just been picked, and it's local businessman Matthew Stevens. who joined me now. Matthew, uh, thanks for joining us. Will you give Labor your preferences this time? Oh, Andrew, look, that's going to be something that the party's going to have to decide, but uh, I know that uh, Pauline put a call out to Bill Shorten that if uh, he was going to work with the Greens and preference the Greens, that there is no way we'll be uh, preferencing Labor. And personally, I'd like to see them put last. Uh, after the state election, they put all 61 of our candidates last on their uh, head of vote card, so I can't see Labor helping us, so I don't think we should be helping them. Well, Matthew Stephen, what does that mean for the contest then? How do you see this battle shaping up? Labor won it last time. Who would be your main rival this time? Well, I think Labor will be our main rival this time. Uh, you know, I I'm going to work hard to peg those uh, margins back. It's only, as you said, 0.8 of a percent. I think some 1,300 votes. So uh, I know that Susan hasn't been the most active MP up there. I know people are disgruntled with the Labor Party. So uh, we give that credible alternative uh, to something different, a breath of fresh air, so to speak. And why are you running? Well, I've sort of... I stood in the state election and I, I realised how uh, the state system doesn't have a Senate and I look at the land clearing legislations now that uh, Labor have passed, uh, how they've decimated our taxi industry and it, uh, with this uh, majority government they can just pass anything through. So I think my next step is to go federally where uh, we do have an upper house and, and we, I can make a difference um, within the political sphere. And why do you think uh, Liberals deserve your preferences above Labor? What makes them? Uh, f uh, what makes you favour them? I don't uh, think uh, Liberals deserve my preferences over Labor particularly. Uh, however, uh, being a Conservative myself, I can't align myself with any party that would align themselves with the Greens rhetoric. Uh, they're a green beholden party. They've forgotten the worker. So uh, you can see that with the land clearing laws just here in Queensland um, statewide. So. Um, if the party decides to go to the Liberals, I, I'd be happy enough to uh, preference them. Now, uh, Matthew, you were la hammered the, the last time you ran for election, state election, for Facebook posts referring to a Miss Abbo Australian, the beauty pageant. That sounds quite off to me. Why did you do that? Uh, no, that was uh, after an Indigenous uh, football tournament I played in. So uh, after that tournament, uh, they held the... They have the, um, the ABBO, which is ABBO, the Australian Born and Bred Originals pageant, um, which is actually run by the Indigenous participants. And I'll, I was awarded second place by the Indigenous <laughs> participants for that uh, pageant. So it's, it's a total fake news media beat up. Um, I mean, if you had been there, it, it, it's, it's quite a good event that they run. Brilliant, mate. I'm glad you cleaned that up so beautifully. Um, do you think you're yeah. in with a chance? Oh, mate, I'm not here to come second, that's for sure. I'm going to give it a red-hot crack. I'm, I'm, definitely, um, I'm definitely keen to hit the pavement tomorrow and, and, and get out there and meet as many people as I can. I, I think it's about time they've got, uh, got that breath of fresh air up there in Longman, um, especially here in Queensland. It, you know, the Labor Party's lost its way. It's not there to represent the worker anymore and, and hopefully I'm that uh, credible alternative for those people. And uh, what chance would you rate to Susan Lamb? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure if they... Uh, People along with all the people of Australia can have a, a, an elected member who's taken more than a year to uh, resign. I mean, you can look at someone like Malcolm Roberts who had the integrity to stand down as soon as he became aware of the issue or, or refer himself to the High Court. It's, it's taken a year that we've been paying Susan's land wages and, I mean, we still are for the next few days. So I don't like Susan's chances. <laughs> all right, Matthew, we'll uh, be looking with... Uh very sharply at this thing. It'll be almost like a referendum uh, before the, uh, the, the major election to come. Uh, good luck to you and uh, let's see how you go. Thank you for having me on, mate. No worries. After the break, the panel and Bill Shorten's big speech.